Welcome back to Funtime Lanes for the second round match in the Western New England Pro Tour event here in, uh, in Holyoke, Massachusetts. Steve Vadney is coming off a win over Tom Bishop and he is moving up to uh, bowl against the number three seed, Stephen Reno Jr. And Stephen is warming up and as soon as he's done We'll get started. Steven Reno Jr. will be on lane six and Steve Vadney on lane five. Steven Reno Jr. is uh, certainly no stranger to most of you, mo probably, because uh, he's established himself pretty uh, successfully on the, the uh, tournament circuit. He was actually number two in the Bowler of the Year standings last year behind Dave Dupuy. And he also distinguished himself in the Pro Series and the um, World Team Invitational Tournament. And also he uh, did pretty well in the World Singles. So. Stephen is quite well established at a young age on the candle pin circuit. And Stephen Reno and Steve Vadney both drop nine. Second box. Stephen Reno converts the spare. And Steve Vadney is looking at a six pin. And he's also got a spare. So both bowlers looking at. 19 with a spare to fill in the second frame. And Stephen Reno Jr. with a strike. And we'll go right to a replay on that in case you missed it. It was pretty fast. Just high flush in the 1-3 pocket and that does not take any time at all. That's a strike in the third frame. Steve Vadney Almost with a strike there. He drops nine, leaving the eight pin. That gives Stephen Reno a one pin lead after two, 29 to 28. And Steve Vadney just goes by the eight pin to the right. He'll convert it for a 10. So Stephen Reno Jr. has 39 with a strike up to Steve Vadney's 38 through 3. And Steve Reno comes in pretty full on the head pin, breaks down the split, and leaves a 3-6-10. Steve Vadney misses the head pin, leaves the 1-3-6-10 for Horseman, and a spare by Steven. Let's see if Steve Vadney can match it, and he does. You can, you can see the uh, head pin came off the wall. Uh, it looked like the 10 pin was gonna stand. I'm gonna take a look at, at, uh, at it in slow motion. 10 pin does not go at first, but a pin, I'm not sure if it was the head pin or another piece of wood came off the wall and took out the 10. So right now it's an 11 pin lead for Steven Reno Jr. and he adds Five on the spare. That gives him 64 through. And a strike by Steve Vadney. That gives him 58 through four. And take a look at this strike. This is also just high flush, one three pocket. Very similar to the one that his counterpart made a couple frames ago on lane six. And Steven Reno with a good try. He uh, really pounded the head pin on that shot but uh, got a little bit too much of it and he will convert the 10 box so Stephen Reno Jr. has 74 through 5 Steve Adney with 68 and a strike up in the fifth as they switch lanes Steve Adney comes over to lane 6 to fill that strike nice ball by Steve he takes down 8 leaving the 2-4 Steven Reno goes to the left side, taking out just four. Pretty tough 
Uh, and Steve Adney missed the uh, two four. He just went by the two, took out the four. So it's going to be a nine fill on the strike. And Steve Reno clobbers the head pin once again. Doesn't get the spare. So in the uh, sixth box, it's going to be a seven for Steven Reno and a nine for Steve Vadney. So Steve Vadney has a lead of five pins, 86 to 81 through six. Another close match, just like the uh, the first round between Steve Vadney and Tom Bishop. And Steve Vadney with a, a nice ball, a little bit full on the head pin, leaving the two, four, seven, ten. And there's a strike by Steven Reno Jr. Let's take a look at it in slow motion. Nice one three pocket hit. And the head pin comes off the wall and kicks that two pin all the way over off the right side wall and then it comes rolling back and just mows down the five pin. That's another strike by Steven Reno Jr. Very powerful shot. And Steve Adney with a great shot there to uh, convert that two four seven ten. Let's take a look at this. He he hits the right side of the two pin and that wood behind it kind of helps him generate some sidewall action. And I'm not sure if that's the two or the four pin that comes off the wall and rolls over all the way over to get to 10. So that enables him to uh, kind of keep pace with, with Steven Reno. He's still, Steve Adney still has that five pin lead and he's got a spare to fill Steven Reno with the strike to fill and Steve Adney puts six on the spare. That gives him one oh two through seven. Steven Reno misses the head pin, gets five on the left side, leaving the one, three, six, eight, nine. And once again, he just clobbers the head pin. Uh, he puts, uh, he just gets two more, at making it a, a seven fill on the strike. And it's going to be a ten box for, for each bowler. So through eight, Steve Adney has a four pin lead, 112 to 108. Another down to the wire match here at Funtime Lanes between two of the regulars on the Western New England Pro Tour. Steve Adney in the ninth misses the head pin, just takes out three, the uh, three, five, and nine. Steven Reno Jr. hits the head pin solid but has a really difficult split. Four, seven, nine, ten with a plank in front of the nine and ten. I have a feeling he might try and use that plank and he tried to do it he, that was a, a good try he tried to get the ball to come back and actually a, a pin came off the wall but nothing touched the four pin so it's a nine box for Steven Reno Jr. and an eight for Steve Vadney that means that Vadney is leading by three going into the last box Down to the down to the wire. Steve Vadney with an eight drop, leaving the four eight. And Stephen Reno misses the head pin by quite a bit, but he gets a little bit of sidewall action with a five drop and a makeable spare. Steve Vadney makes the spare, so now Stephen Reno is going to have to convert this one five six nine ten with wood. And he does. Nice shot right there. So it's going to go down to the last ball. Steve Vadney has a three pin lead. Let's take a, a, a look at the replay on this shot by Stephen Reno Jr. Once again, he crushes the head pin and utilizes that wood to wipe out the five, six, nine, ten. So it's going to come down to one ball, and, and Steve Vadney has a three pin lead as they both fill the spares in the tent. Steve Adney misses the head pin, but he's got eight. So that's going to do it because, uh, you know, the best that Steve and Reno can do is, is to, uh, to come within one at this point. And he drops seven. So it's going to be a four pin win for Steve Adney, 138 to 134. And by virtue of that win, Steve Adney moves on to the semifinal round of this tournament in which he will bowl against the second seed, Brian Mayer. We'll be back with that one.